All right, a wee bit of a mishap with this step here for number 128. Kind of got tagged by the uh, snow removal equipment. Got a little bit racked. But then I got to looking at it and while well, the damage could have been probably less severe if it wasn't so poorly built. Yeah, whoever built it, instead of putting a platform all the way across, all the way down, cheaped out and put cut off scraps there for spacers. Well, there goes all your strength. Why well, couldn't just, who knows? There's no pride in workmanship anymore. Needs a bit of work. I gotta try to fix it. Doesn't need to be completely rebuilt, not yet. But it is a pain in the butt nonetheless. Because now I have to unrack it and straighten it up and put boards all the way across instead of off cuts. And, ah, yeah, yeah. We'll get her done. Fix her up nice, nice. This is the only cabin in the whole place that's a mile in the sky. <laughs> like, what do we got there? That's uh, five and a half, 11, 12. About four, the bottom of the door is about 14 inches off the ground. <laughs> the rest of them are at ground level, but this one is 14 inches above the ground. So I got to build a two platform step, make it nice and sturdy. Until the snowplow guy, <laughs> take it easy next time. Stay tuned. Better start now, more solid base. I reused the boards from before. Now I've got a platform on which to mount that platform. I'm going to have to cut two new boards for the top step. But this is how it should have been built in the first place. That way when you hit it with the snow plow, it would have just pushed the whole thing. You know, broken its mooring to the building maybe. Not, you know, totally, totally destroy the darn step. This back section here is going to be covered by the top step, so gap there, nice, nice, pretty, pretty. I flipped this board over so the bottom side looked nicer. It's been around for a while this step. I don't know how long ago it was built, but and then I just trimmed off the end there so it'll be flat against the wall. We're getting there. It'll be nice and party when I'm done. You'll see. Stay tuned. All right. Now I have the top platform on the lower platform. Now there's support all the way across. All the way across. And instead of relying on toe nailing, toe screwing, I put nailing blocks. So screws can be driven up from underneath. And this is offset from the center here. So I can screw up from the bottom. And there you go. What I gotta do now is cut some new boards for the top and this project is done. Hopefully the next time it gets tagged with a snow removal machine, the whole thing will just slide. Maybe tear a screw out of the wall instead of destroying the whole darn thing. Just about done. Just got to cut the boards for the top. 
And there we go. All done, nice, nice. Snappy. It's a little bit heavier than it was before. <laughs> a little more material in it. It's good and solid anyways. There's the underneath. These cross bracers in here so that if it gets tagged again, it's, the whole thing is going to whoosh. Hopefully. And see, by putting nailing blocks, now I can come up from underneath here into the top step. Eliminating unsightly and not very strong toe screws, toenails. Next step is to drag it back over where it belongs and ah, attach it. Ah. And it's done. And there we go, in place, installed, tested, looks good, works good. I don't know why this cabin is so high off the ground. Unless it's because they've one point dug the ground down, I don't know. I don't know, you can already see it, the steps. There we go. That was today's project, number 128.